Hello, everyone. Today we're talking about customer value resources and specifically the must-haves and nice-to-haves in digital experience. I have with me Francisco Zapata from Brazil. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? Yes, uh, I am a professional consultant. I have been on the market for more than 26 years. A good part of those uh, as an executive for technology firms and the other part as a consultant. Later on, on this career, I came across uh, the courses that Lean offers and also CXPA uh, knowledge uh, base. And I found that very interesting. So I took some courses and was able to pass the exam. And I began one of the few people in Brazil that have the CCXP uh, certification. Uh, nowadays, I am head of CX of our consulting company, tackling even greater uh, customers. I'm very happy to feel the, the market evolving, and I think that uh, the, the knowledge that I gained through CXPA and all the courses was very important for this objective to be realized. At the first moment, when everybody got locked inside their houses, basically, everybody was forced to digitize everything. So you could see uh, people like old people in general that did not want to enter the digital world being forced to do so, to ask for food, to look for information about their, their uh, daring families, to look for connection, to look for uh, uh, help in any, any way you can think of. That first moment was an open door for everybody to enter the digital world in a good way or not. They were just forced to do that. Several companies looked at those situations and took advantage in, in a good way, I mean. They looked at those opportunities and saw that they could help those newly uh, people that just now began to use digitization for everything and help them get the most value out of those. So I saw several companies that understood this first uh, situation and by helping those customers, <clears throat> they try to give a good experience for them. This made uh, those brands uh, appear more for those kind of customers. These customers so began their new world with a new uh, expectation. They were afraid of the new digitization and the companies, some companies were pretty much aware of that. For the companies that understood that fear came with this opportunity, they began evolving that digital experience. And instead of just uh, making in the digital world the same process those people had on the physical world, they began adding value. And that's the difference. Like, digital transformation, the digital experience must bring also additional value that was not possible before on the pure physical world. So now we began seeing companies that took the correct kind of advantage and improve value on the experiences of those people that were just now boarding on the digital world. So I think that we as a customer experience professionals, we do have a lot of opportunities to help those companies understand the transformation of their customers and help them provide the best digital experience possible, knowing that we must deliver more value than in the previous world. And why is that? Because soon, I really hope soon, the pandemic will end and the physical world will come back to the way it was before. If these kind of customers did not get a correct new digital experience with brand new value, they surely go, will go back to their previous ways of doing everything and we will be lost 
we will have lost all these opportunities and all these new markets that can emerge. So I do think we have great opportunities if we can see the correct part of the digital experience that the new customer is showing us. If we don't see that, if we just see digitization here and there, when the pandemic is over, we are also over with the, the new value we can provide. Yes, I, I think actually that uh, CX, it's a kind of methodization of the empathy of a company. So if the company did not have the means to empathize, to really understand the point of view from the customer before, now it's an opportunity to do so. Because if the company doesn't empathize enough, the company will not be able to understand what is a value that can be delivered during the pandemic and after the pandemic. So I think, yes, now we have new forms of uh, getting this information to acquire empathy, which are actually better than before. Because now in the digital world, uh, we have more systems, technology that have helped us uh, escalate our methods of getting the, the information from the customer. And by getting information, I do not intend to, to, to say that it's only cold data, as to say. It's not only a number of customers, time spent here and there, but also perceptions. For example, a very real example. Now we have uh, cameras everywhere. And if the, the companies understand that they can get the perceptions from the customer using uh, images, using their operational data, plus their facial expressions, we can understand that the companies will have a lot to do in the field of digital experience. They have a lot to do yet, and already they are delivering great value to all kinds of personas, all kinds of markets. Whenever the companies realize all the occult opportunities that still exist, that's going to be a big leap from, from nowadays. And new ways of empathy are uh, spread all over the place. You just have to look for them and see how technology can help you find them. I got the CCXP designation, I think, four, four years, three or four years ago, and it was a big mark on my, on my career, on my personality, actually. Before getting the CCXP, I thought I did not have the correct tools and the correct methodology to go to the market. Uh, when I got the exam, uh, I had already done several trainings, actually several trainings from yourself. The, the training is online. I'm in Brazil, so fortunately it has to be remote. And those trainings uh, showed me that I already had a lot of tools and gave me new tools to complement my, my, my work, my knowledge, the methodologies I use. So when I was able to take the exam and pass the exam, it was a reinforcement to myself that I already had the capabilities, uh, not all of them, but I was able to, to see that I had a lot of those capabilities. And that gave me confidence to really approach the market explicitly as a, a CX professional. Before that, I approached the market more like a, a consultant looking for improvements in processes in organizations and strategy, but not as a CX professional, which is now a very, a very uh, important skill to show to the market. So I say that CCXP was for me a, a milestone, a personal milestone and a professional milestone as well. Well, congratulations. That's a great achievement and what you've gained from that. Thank you very much. It was uh, very important for my career. Awesome. 
Well, I want to thank you very much for sharing your ideas about what's vital and what's trivial now. I think that so many things are emerging. It's, it's just full of opportunities. So I want to also want to welcome everyone to join the Clear Action Value Exchange where you can learn more about digitalization, digital experience, customer experience, and employee experience, especially the convergence of those for ease of work and ease of doing business. <laughs> Looks you like see, we have, this we have is, a little visitor here. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the things that I wanted to say also. Yeah. Uh, this having a kid in your, in your uh, work presentation yeah. is a novelty that is something that we have always missed. Yeah. Uh, before the pandemic, I was afraid to, to have a conversation from home dealing with work. Mm. This would not be acceptable. Nowadays is so acceptable with, because we are realizing that there are people, that side is people, this side is people, <laughs> I have my two kids, the other is running around the house, and this is the new normal that has to be valued. This is beautiful. I hope when the pandemic is over, this is not over. We can accept this in our work as normal as it should be. You can learn more about partnering levels, trust dynamics, and smoothing silos and related topics in the Clear Action Value Exchange. This is an example of a solve space, an interactive template. The Clear Action Value Exchange shows customer intelligence stewards how to influence organizational agility, internal and external alignment, and stakeholder accountability at the interpersonal, department, and enterprise levels. An array of formats makes it easy to pop in and find nuggets of wisdom to elevate performance that will increase ease of doing business and ease of work. Join us today in the Clear Action Value Exchange.